Let to see this. Look at that. Holding the commander's hand. I, I do like the, the pink nail polish as well, so it makes me happy. Friend as close as a tight ribbon. Oh, look at that. Subscribe, please. Hello. So today I'm coming to you because we have uh, some updates. We are getting an update on July 25th, obviously. I'm going to quickly go through the notice and then we're going to be checking out the dev notes, all of that. That's a lot of new information coming in for Nikkei and I'm incredibly excited about it. So let's quickly go over what's been announced. So first and foremost, obviously it's going to be maintenance, blah, blah, blah. New character, SR Ein. So finally, Ein is getting out of uh, PNG, uh, what's it called? NPC jail, that's the one. So she's a freshman at MMR Vocational School who dreams of becoming Rusha's exclusive designer during special recruits. Uh, okay, Ayn is an attacker who use near feathers to deal true damage. True damage, very, very cool. So what's interesting with true damage? Obviously, we've gotten more characters that work around true damage. Um, and also we've had the favorite items, which has brought characters that were just not useful in the meta anymore. And given them new abilities, some of them have to do with true damage. So they seem to be really pushing this forward. So I'm really excited about this. Maybe she will actually have a pretty good place in the game. Hopefully, I mean, true damage is very, very good. We'll have to see exactly what the numbers are. Uh, but I guess for now, we can just wait and see. We're probably going to have more information about her later tonight when it comes to the drip marketing. Uh, so we'll see. Very very excited for this. Um, her attack frequency increased according to the number of near feathers. With her burst skill, she can summon large number of near feathers for explosive attack. Very cool. She's missileist. That's nice. Finally, not a tetra. Weapon young punk. She's a sniper rifle, rifle user. Electric code. Very, very nice. And she is uh, blah, 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 blah. duration from the end of July 27th, 25th, sorry, maintenance until August 8th. So it does seem uh, she's going to be coming in hot. Um, no new summer character. So it is what it is. There's no part two, it seems. Uh, I think the copium is over. It's time to face uh, reality. 4%, uh, blah, 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 blah. The classic. And then we have the rerun for this sparkling summer Anis. Very cool, very strong character. I'm not going to really talk about it. She's good from last year. I think she's still worth it. You can pull for her if you want. Um, obviously, she's a limited character. And meanwhile, SSR, I, she's not going to be a limited character. So I would say, if you want to be smart about this, you probably want to skip Ayn. You want to pull for limited characters. You want to wait because we're probably going to get a collapse soon, right? Uh, so I would wait on that. I would wait for some announcements. Um, I think if you really want her now, I would still say wait until the end of the banner like two days before the end of the banner see what's been announced then and then you can really make the um an, you can decide with all the information on hands whether or not you want to spend your gems for her so yeah there it is uh hell mccoy range is here um, I think she's not as strong as Annie's, but she, she's still there and she's a limited character. So I, I would say, like, if you like collecting, I personally like collecting characters, so I might pick her up. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, temporary Persimmon Nikki is not really interesting, but here we have new costume. Um, and so here we have special costume for Naga, elegant date. The courage of a student wants to appear more mature. Naga elegant date can be obtained from August Miss pass you may check out the deal on the new commodities list below so this is going to be a 25 bucks skin essentially but obviously you get some pool resources and all that stuff so it kind of depends on you if you like naga if you like the design all of that and here we also have the special costume tia lovely date the loveliness of a student wants to look prettier tia lovely date can be obtained from the sunny date events so this is going to be a free costume a, a free skin very very cool uh, hopefully it looks amazing. I mean, one can hope. Uh, then we have the new event, Juveline, Juvenile Days. I can't read today, I apologize. Approaching people at striking casual conversation has always been easy for Ayn, but one day she realized she has no friend to confide in. For the first time, she feels lonely. What exactly is a friend? What should you do for each other to be considered friends? To find the answer, Ayn decides to meet the commander. 
Plague and Third Juvenile Day, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're gonna have an event around Ein, makes sense, she's coming out, all the good, good. Challenge stage. Um, see you again, joins the archives. That's pretty cool. We got the day lo daily login events, sunny dates. Uh, makes sense. Uh, that's how you get Tia by logging in 21 days. That's cool. Day login events, my school life. You get vouchers from logging seven times. Skill reset uh, duration uh, until August 1st. You have a few days to decide if you want to uh, uninstall some of the skill from your characters. You decide to, you know what, maybe you put a lot of resources into a character that you ended up not really using. That's for you out here. Solo raid, that's really cool, especially for you out there trying to build your favorite items for your favorite characters. Uh, Union raid, yeah, make sure you do that and don't get killed by your guild. <laughs> Coordinated operation, it's the usual, you know, but this is interesting. New chapters. Added chapter 31, chapter 32. The beasts that seek to engulf the world. I'm actually still in chapter 30. I haven't finished it. Uh, I need to work on that. And they a delayed advance for chapter 32. Very exciting stuff. Lost sector update. New lost sector. Sector 22 and EX08, which is awesome. New floors in the tribe tower. 100 floors each. Uh, the maximum outpost defense level to 500, so, you know, everything's going up. New Harmony Cube. This has me quite interested. I don't know why I just like Harmony Cubes. I want to unlock a bunch of them. New titles, sure, with the new events, etc. New characters, there's always going to be new titles now. Updates, the favorite items in Miller Shop, favorite items season 1, season 2. So, essentially, uh, the two Miller Shop favorite item. This favorite item season one is essentially the four we got, and season two is literally just Viper, so they're making them into one single box. I don't know if it's gonna stay this way in the future when we're gonna get like new favorite items in the future. Are they gonna still be considered season two? I don't know, I assume so. And will they separate them again? I, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. Um. Update the welcome back event reward. So if you to if you were not there for a while, if you haven't played, this might be the time to join in. Uh, new commodities, mission pass. Uh, yeah, new care package, new weekly, monthly packs, all of that. Some optimization, detailed information regarding optimization and bug fix will be given upon completion of the maintenance. So we'll have to wait for that. Uh, so yeah, very very interesting stuff indeed. And now we are going to be switching over to their Twitter because there's a few things here that I do want to show you guys. So first of all, obviously, they announced the pickup recruitment notice for Ayn. She's not going to be a duo. Um, they would have announced a duo yet already if it was the case. And we are now Monday and nothing's happened. So obviously, she's going to be just a single character. Um, and she looks cool. Really good. I've always kind of liked her outfit. I think I really like the... Like, this thing here, the clip, and the giant, um, I don't know, uh, coat, I guess, or hoodie. It's, like, super big, super size. I really like it. I think she looks great. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to her. Uh, I really want to get one copy, but I might, you know, wait it out and only pick it up. I'll probably add her to my wish list and hopefully get her from there. We can see her pose here. Uh, so she's showing a lot of thigh, obviously, so for all you out there, thigh enjoyers, uh, enjoy that, hopefully. Uh, we don't have the animation for when she's shooting yet, uh, so I don't know how that looks. Personally, I'm not really in the game for the shooting animation. I like the design of the character, I don't really care about the jiggle physics, but it is what it is, I'm sorry, that's a hot take. A first year student with intense interest in fashion design. This place is dull, is dull as dirt, isn't there anything fun to do around here? Uh, so, yeah, um... Manufacturer Missiles Industry, School Circle, Young Punk. Somewhat unruly at time is a big softie on the inside. Her dream is to succeed in the fashion world and makes a killing. To that end, she holds a deep admiration for the Talentum squad. Makes sense. Dirt. This place is dull as dirt. Isn't there anything fun to do around here? She's super cute, and I assume those are the the, the near feathers or whatever they're called. Uh, they look really cool. She actually reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV's Sage uh, weapons. If you've played that game. Anyway. Yeah, but I really like her design. I think she's great. I think she's great. She's not overly sexualized or anything. Uh, and actually, I mean, I don't mind the character being sexualized. But I, I think she looks cool. She looks really cool. Um, so I'm happy with that. She's my type of um, design. Here we see her there. That's a beautiful artwork with a cloud looking away. We can see the, the boredom settling in. <laughs> Approaching people and striking casual conversation. 
Uh, yeah, we read that in the in the the notice, and there it is. Uh, we oh, we get to see this. Look at that, holding the commander's hand. I I do like the the pink nail polish as well, so it makes me happy. Friend as close as a tight ribbon. Oh, look at that. She's so adorable, dude. Ah, uh, so here it is. Anyway, moving on. I want to talk real quick about the developer's note because this is very interesting. We haven't had any in a little while, so uh, I'm excited to go through it. I'm not gonna read all of the fluff, but essentially, uh, we'll, I'll try to read what's most important here. Um, so essentially, they hope we appreciated the new minigame collaboration of uh, Dave the Diver. Obviously, that was pretty fun. I liked it. I think at some point it ended up being a little bit repetitive, but overall it was a good experience. So I'm looking forward to more collab like that, I think. I, I think those minigames are really fun. I love uh, the Mug one. I love the tower defense, even if it was not like the Mog and tower defense were not collaboration, but those were like high quality mini games, in my opinion. And I would be down to get some more mini games like that in the future with collabs. It's always a, a good excuse to get a, a good thing going, some nice reward, uh, and yeah, it's it's a nice change of pace. So here we have play content development progress updates. We hope to recently updated profile card decoration and title features provide satisfactory content to commanders. I'm gonna be real, they're not content. It's fluff. It's a thing. Uh, most people are gonna spend like hours a day doing that. Like maybe to spend one hour one day and then never do it again. Um, I would not call that content. I'm, I'm sorry, maybe I'm a bit harsh. The last developer note, I believe explained the content schedule for the update. Today we'll focus on the development status of some of those contents. So that's a good good. Simulation Room Overclock Official Season! Yay! The official season will begin in late August. It will be structured in a 12-week season. Uh, it is designed to allow you to acquire skill upgrade material every two weeks continuously. I think the image might be a bit small. I'm sorry. There it is. That's better. Okay, so that's cool. Each season provides designated site level and options, where some options change every two weeks. We encourage the commanders to decide wisely when to challenge the season record. Very cool. Uh, the actual difficulty level is similar to that of beta season 2. So if you thought it was easy then, it's probably going to be easy when it happens. Um, so it is what it is. On top of it, the anomaly interception. Next, we'd like to introduce anomaly uh, interception. It, they will introduce bosses of higher difficulty levels such as combat level D, level S, and special anomaly combat featuring bosses like Ultras and Indivilia, unseen in previous combats. This content is designed to be significantly challenging with a maximum Nikkei level limit set at 400. As the level of difficulty is high, instead of rotating bosses, you'll be able to select and challenge bosses directly. Moreover, we anticipate offering high level reward compared to special anomaly inception. Sorry allowing you to strengthen manufacturer equipment and modification equipment options more actively. That is awesome. I'm really looking forward to that because right now it takes a long time. It's a lot of effort to work on your um, overloaded gear and stuff like that. So this is great that we get a new endgame content that will allow us to get better progress with our Nikkei's gear. Uh, let's open this up. Uh, it's scheduled to, up to be updated in August, so we have a lot of things planned for August coming in hot. That's awesome. On top of this, uh, for those who like PvP, the Champion Area Surface Content Development Updates, they're talking about here, essentially they're saying that it's progressing pretty well, and they are currently aiming for September, after September. Uh, but this, is, this might change, so keep that in mind. They will confirm it a second time later on so essentially it's to be like okay we're aiming kind of here it might take longer we'll keep you updated i think it's smart give some expectation but keep them lower enough that people don't lose their mind if it ends up being a slightly delayed for surface content initial planning have been progressing and we have begun prototype development depending on the result of the prototype will guide the direction and update schedule of the content okay Harmony Cube level expansion. We plan to expand the level of Harmony Cube through September updates. As our Harmony Cube level expands, cube abilities, skills, and cube equipment slots will also expand. We're currently reviewing the appropriate level of expansion. While the ex exact expanded cube level has not been determined, please note that we plan to expand a minimum of six cube slots. That is great. You won't have to suffer to decide who he's wearing what. Favorite item release cycle change. 
The current favorite item release plan was to update the character's one favorite item every two months. However, based on your feedback from the recent survey, we plan to change the favorite item release cycle to approximately three releases within about six months. So essentially, instead of doing one every two months with totals in three every six months, it means it stayed the same amount of releases, but they are going to do it in batches, which I think... Um, I, I, maybe it's more exciting this way. Personally, I don't really care. Uh, I, I think it's fine. Maybe releasing them in batches allows people to decide directly on which Nikkei they want to focus instead of feeling like, oh, every time there's a new one, well, you don't have anywhere else to spend that those resources, right? So this might be better, actually. Through this adjustment, we hope to secure more time for obtaining favorite items and Nikkei's growth currently available. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, Goddess of Victory and Nikkei will always listen to the opinion of the commanders, blah, blah, blah. New main scenario chapter release. You've been waiting for a long time. Main scenario chapter 31 and 32 are scheduled to be updated soon. In this story, the owner of the crystal region will appear and various incidents, including the opening of the previously closed coffin, will occur. You can also meet new characters and see beloved characters after a long time in this story, so please look forward to it. The main scenario will be updated in July. We've read that. It's happening right now. And that is absolutely awesome. And then we have one last note right there, which says, Archives Event Edition. See you again, and the minigame Barbecue Master, a skill barbecue tycoon minigame are added, obviously, to the archive, which is awesome. On top of it, ACPU Freeze will be added in August. And finally, our development team and I feel the greatest reward for when Commander and Joy got us a victory in Nikkei. Therefore, we always put a lot of effort into providing greater fun. We'll continue to work hard until our intentions reach you and strive to become a better game. Even if not perfect, if there are any inconveniences, we hope for your generous understanding and encourage you to provide feedback through customer service, community, and surveys. Thank you for your constant support. So, overall, I think this sounds great. I think this is good news. Uh, I'm looking forward to all of that. Uh, this is kind of the first news we've gotten since, you know, uh, the company went public. Um, so we'll see. So far, it seems like to, to be as usual. Hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully the game is going to be great. Hopefully it's going to keep getting as much support as the game needs. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you intend to pull for for the Anis rerun or anything like that and uh, I'll see you on the next one thank you so much for watching like subscribe and you can also find me on twitch.tv slash kitty catty 